All right, hopefully I have audio this time. Last time it decided that the audio didn't want to work for some reason. Somehow the gain got turned down on my uh, my focus right. So give me one second here. We're going to make sure this is actually going to work this time. Which... I don't know if it is or it isn't. I don't know why. This is not showing up. One second. is not it. It's like it's just not working. There it goes. Sorry, I'm not very good at making live streams. We'll just go ahead and leave it at that, eh? Why am I not able to see this on my phone. It won't even let me pull this up on my phone. Whatever. I just want to make... Oh, wait, it says it's private. Why is it private? Make sure this is working. All right, I'm gonna make sure this is working. All right, it appears to be the audio is working. I've been having weird issues with my microphone, and I did a whole video that ended up not having any audio. So, uh, for anybody who came in and commented, and <laughs> I apologize that uh, it decided that it didn't, didn't want to work. So, uh, as I was testing earlier, and I'm going to kind of probably cut through this a little bit quicker, but this is the DeepFace Live software. Uh, I've been running my DeepFace Live model of Arnold Schwarzenegger on my RTX A6000 at batch 64 for like a day and a half. Um, it's at like 3.03 million iterations now, and we want to just kind of see how this is going compared to some of the pre-selected available models. So this is, uh, should be able to pop that up and sharpen it a little bit maybe and i'm running on this at 1366 by 768 and still getting close to 30 frames a second so the a6000 threadripper combination seems to be pretty good for doing this <laughs> freaking jim looks really weird on me make sure that's uh yeah okay i can't really do his voice or anything so uh whatever it's a little orange but <laughs> I wish I could do his, his voice or whatever but whatever anyways looks pretty good so the hair is pretty you know the eyebrows and stuff are pretty good there's some detail in the face that's like the only thing in my mind that I feel like the face like wrinkles or whatever aren't really present um, otherwise it's like it's too smooth but I'll show you guys here in a second so uh, load mine up it's like it has, for some reason, this kind of green, uh, kind of a tint to it anyway. I guess it's not so much green, but uh, if I sharpen it a bit, maybe not quite so far. And then if I lower the gamma to like 0.6, oops, sorry, that's too low. <laughs> that, that looks horrible. There you go. And then uh, this one as well, just a little bit. But this is a little different than last time. Oh, I went up. Went the wrong way with it. But if you screw with the gam a little bit, let me try minimizing that screen. It's almost like it's behaving differently this time than the last time I ran it. Kid, it's all right. What's the matter, buddy? My cat's been grumpy with me. He's very grumpy, my kitty. 
So you can see like the teeth look pretty good. Um, I think Gan might need to run just a little bit longer. There's still like a little bit, if you can kind of see close, there's like a little bit of this like checkerboarding or cross hatch effect, uh, like in the forehead. Like if I sit back a little bit, it's not too noticeable. But if I get up close to it, you can kind of see. So it probably does need a little bit more training. I thought it was better than it is. I was wrong. I was lying to myself the whole time. It was perfect, but as this is how we find out. We have to test these things. Let me see if there's any. Uh, so that's my phone. I just want to see if anybody's in chat. I goofed up here. Uh, all right, there's nobody in chat this time. Yeah, I goofed up last time, and like I said, the gain was somehow shut off on my microphone. I don't recall having done that, but okay. So these one of these things where you start recording and you think you have audio, and it turns out you are wrong. Ah! But uh, it is working pretty well for facial expressions in general. Look around, you know, pretty close to the to the, to the display, and it's fine, you know. You're pretty close. Ah! You can see into my mouth before I scream at you and tell you you're an idiot. <laughs> You think this is the real quaid? No, it's not the real quaid. No. But uh, I can look in all the directions pretty good. Oh, that's too close to the bottom of our screen. But it is working pretty well. I think it is about 85 to 90 percent as good as the models that come with Deep Face Live. Let me try screwing around here a little bit more. I'm always screwing around. Let's see if we can improve it at all. Oh, it's not going to work. Too sharp now. Oh, now I have other wrinkles. Ah! <laughs> See, like, I have a little bit of a gap between my tweet and between my teeth. So, uh, like right now, my teeth are closed and it doesn't, doesn't see it that way. Arnold has his very own problem with, with his teeth as well. Oh, now it's not working. Anyways. Uh, it is not, not too bad. I hope you guys enjoy that it is it is coming along nicely. I thought it would be better. Uh, I was hoping that it was going to be done today. But every time I think it's going to be done, I determine that I'm wrong. So we will have to continue to train it. Uh, hopefully, yes, like I say, it looks like GAN is not actually done yet. I thought it was done. So my, my apologies for wasting your time. But that said, uh, you know, See you guys again pretty soon. I will try again in a few days, maybe next week, and we will have it done by then. Also, I'm doing Gollum from Lord of the Rings. That one is going to take a little bit longer, but it would be hilarious. And they can do his voice very well and call you all my precious.